All right, good morning, y'all. Pete here from Green Dreams, and I'm here on Sand Hill Farm this morning. It's a beautiful Sunday morning here in Florida. Um, please excuse that noise in the backdrop. My neighbor is cutting her yard. She does that probably every four to six days to mulch up the leaves. Not a practice that we do around here on Sand Hill Farm. So I want to get a little bit more into depth with y'all on Moringa. This variety of Moringa that we have growing behind us is actually a PK1 variety. It's one that's been selected by ECHO, E-C-H-O, out of Fort Myers. It grows really well here. It's been selected for some different attributes. So this is Moringa oleifera, also known as the horseradish tree or the tree of life. This tree is native to the Himalayans in northwestern India, widely cultivated in tropical and subtropical areas, and can be grown as an annual almost anywhere in the country. So planting this after your last frost, it's a very quick growing tree. I mean, this tree in Florida would grow maybe three or four feet a month. We're talking very rapid, very quick growth. Um, the tree is pretty much like having a health food store in your backyard. So let me grab some leaves and I'll talk to you about the nutritional value of this plant. So any of these perennial vegetables, and Moringa I look at as a perennial vegetable, these young leaves, these most tender leaves on the top, are usually the best to eat. So this can be added to a salad, a smoothie. It also can be dried, grinded, and capsulated. So the powder on this tree goes for 60 to 80 bucks a pound. I mean, very expensive you know, in the health food stores, highly nutritious. So the tree itself is 26% protein by weight. It has seven times the calcium of milk, four times the vitamins of carrots, 15 times the potassium of bananas, 25 times the iron of spinach, seven times the vitamin C of oranges, 92 different nutrients, 46 different antioxidants. We're talking about the tree of life here, guys. Every part of the tree is usable. The bark, the flowers, the roots. I believe the roots are very strong. They need to be kind of looked up before you just go and eat those. The seeds can even be used as a flocculant. So in third world countries where people don't have access to clean water, they use those seeds and they'll put them in whatever they're capturing the water in, walk down to that water source, you know, put those seeds in there and they actually act as a flocculant. And I've heard they can take malaria ridden water and make it drink, make it drinkable. So once they get back to their village, all they have to do is boil that water and it's ready to grow. This tree is highly taprooted. So I would suggest we sell these at a very young age or by a seed would be the best way to start it. Commercially, they grow this tree about three to four foot tall and about a foot apart. And they come through on that week weekly basis and just harvest that new growth off of the top of the tree. So they'll come through every week and just take out those new tips. You know, we're up here in 9B, 20 miles north of Tampa, had just a little bit of tip burn from a frost that we had you know, three or four days ago. We've seen 29 degrees within the last week and this tree is still here. So they grow very easily. This is only a two and a half year old tree. You can see the, the trunk on the tree, you know, it probably has a four inch caliper on it. Um, tree of life, Moringa oleifera. Everybody should be trying to grow this. Very easy to grow, highly nutritious. The most nutritious terrestrial plant in the world. If y'all like my videos, please share, comment, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.